According to Harrison Cass, a former U.S. Air Force pilot trainee and national security expert, U.S. intelligence has concluded that Russia's progress in developing the Pak DA stealth bomber is more advanced than China's efforts with the Xi'an H-20. Intelligence suggests that Russia is closer to completing the Pak DA than China is to finishing the H-20. However, with the program shrouded in secrecy, it's tough to say for sure, Cass remarked. Currently, the Pak DA prototype is nearing completion, positioning Russia to become the second nation with a stealth bomber. While Russia excels in aerospace engineering, it still trails behind the US in stealth technology capabilities, the expert added. The Pak DA is a state-of-the-art stealth bomber under development by Russia as part of the Pak Perspectives of Aerial Complexes program. Officially named the Long Range Aviation Complex, the Pak DA is set to replace the aging 295 and 2160 strategic bombers. Designed by the Tupolev Design Bureau, this aircraft is expected to undertake a variety of missions, ranging from nuclear deterrence to conventional strike operations all while focusing on stealth and advanced avionics to evade the latest air defense systems. One standout feature of the Pak DA should be, at least that's expected, its stealthy design. Thanks to its flying wing configuration, the radar cross-section is minimized, boosting both its stealth and aerodynamic efficiency. Advanced turbofan engines are expected to power this aircraft, enhancing its long-range capabilities and making it less visible on radar. When it comes to payload, the Pak DA is designed to be highly versatile and capable of carrying a wide range of munitions, including precision-guided bombs and nuclear warheads. This makes it effective for both strategic and tactical missions. The Pak DA will also boast state-of-the-art avionics and sensor systems. These are expected to incorporate the latest in electronic warfare and target acquisition technology, boosting its effectiveness in contested environments. Additionally, the bomber will likely feature advanced data links for network-centric warfare, allowing seamless operation with other Russian military assets. Although still under development, the introduction of the Pak DA is seen as a crucial move for modernizing Russia's long-range strike capabilities and keeping pace with other major military powers. Interestingly, U.S. intelligence assessments suggest that Russia is closer to producing a Pak DA prototype than China is to its H-20 stealth bomber. This is remarkable especially when considering the ongoing conflict in Ukraine and the significant financial resources it demands. Firstly, Russia boasts a rich history in the development of strategic bombers, backed by established design bureaus and a robust military aviation infrastructure. The renowned Tupolev Design Bureau, which is behind the Pak DA, has decades of experience crafting advanced bombers like the Tu-160 and Tu-95. This deep well of institutional knowledge, combined with concentrated efforts on the Pak DA, enables Russia to leverage existing tech and know-how, potentially speeding up their timelines in comparison to newer programs like China's H-20. Secondly, while the ongoing conflict in Ukraine has stretched Russia's military resources and budgets, it has also emphasized the critical need for modernizing and enhancing strategic capabilities. Russian leadership might prioritize long-range strike systems like the Pak DA to maintain a deterrence edge against NATO and other adversaries. They view it as essential for keeping strategic parity. This focus could lead to sustained investments and resource allocation for the Pak DA program despite facing challenges in other defense budget areas. Lastly, while China's H-20 project is ambitious, it's still in its relatively early stages compared to Russia's well-established initiatives. Despite rapid advancements, China's military aviation sector may encounter significant hurdles, particularly in integrating advanced avionics and weapon systems. 
These developmental challenges, alongside Russia's historical focus and strategic priorities, contribute to the perception that Russia is further along in developing its next-gen bomber. The Pak DA stealth bomber showcases Russia's drive to modernize its military and bolster its strategic power. But closing the gap on effective stealth tech, akin to US stealth bombers, remains a significant hurdle. This lag mainly stems from the technological divide between Russia and the United States. Years of dedicated R&D have given American aerospace tech an edge, resulting in top-tier materials, aerodynamics, and avionics that boost stealth capabilities. Meanwhile, Russia's military-industrial efforts have faced budget woes and divergent focus areas, leading to slower advancements in stealth technology. Historically, Russian design philosophy has leaned more towards heavy armor and firepower rather than stealth. This influence is evident in aircraft like the Su-57. While the Su-57 does feature some stealth elements, it falls short of the radar-evading prowess seen in US fighters like the F-22 and F-35. The integration of stealth technology isn't just about the shape of an aircraft. It involves advanced radar-absorbent materials and electronic warfare systems. Russian engineers are still grappling with the complexities of stealth design, which demands a comprehensive approach that blends aerodynamics, materials science, and avionics. This is an area where the U.S. excels. On top of that, Geopolitical factors and military procurement practices can also slow down Russia's progress in stealth technology. The U.S. defense industry thrives within a vibrant ecosystem of private companies, research institutions, and government funding. This fosters innovation and speeds up development. In contrast, Russia's military procurement process often suffers from bureaucracy and corruption, creating inefficiencies that delay the implementation of advanced technologies. As a result, while the Pak DA is a notable advancement for Russian military aviation, it's unlikely to match the stealth capabilities of its American counterparts anytime soon, without major technological, financial, and strategic improvements.